do not layer these two perfumes if you don't want people to be drooling all over you. What's up you guys? This is your wing lady and I'm back today with another banging video. doing i hope you're all doing great wing lady is doing so so good by the title of today's video you already know we are doing the battle of the underlips we are reviewing the two underlips from asda today we are going to be comparing um underlip flora with um original underlip that is this one and this one it's mainly a review on this one actually i have to tell you how this smells but of course i'm going to be comparing this with it but we focus on this right so it comes in this lovely purple box i'm especially loving the box because i love purple purple and white super classy <laughs> so purple nice luxurious looking box with purple flowers and all and is reading written underlip flora something tells me that they will come out with yet another flanker i just something just tells me to look out for another flanker i don't know but i think there's gonna be another one this is the original underlip but just you know the green um box i don't really like green so green <laughs> this is um underlip flora by a staff and i'm going to be comparing it with um original underlip and also going to be comparing it with onero florence by fragrance world because this is also a lavender based scent and i feel like you need a comparison right guys what would i do for you okay first of all the cap doesn't keep it doesn't you cannot pull it by the cap it's gonna drop see the original underlip you can actually pull it by the cap because it's a bit more secure but this is a secure the sun is going down. How can the sun go down when I'm just about to start recording videos? <laughs> if my visibility is getting low, it's not me. It's the sun. So, underlip flora. Oof, I've been enjoying it for the past few days. I have been loving it. I've been into it. But let me just, you know, give you the tea. So first of all, this is just delicious. <laughs> it is super delicious. What you get right off the top is fruits, juiciness, powderiness, and of course the lavender. Now, most lavender scents, when I smell lavender, it sort of comforts me, it sort of gives me this calm feeling. I know that lavender essential oil basically does this too, like when you smell lavender, it just it makes you calm, it makes you feel good. In the case of underlip flora, yeah, it is a little bit comforting, but it's not that kind of scent that will put you to sleep or make you want to sleep. No, this wakes you up. This wakes you up. It is juicy, pretty, sweet, a bit florally, and the lavender in there comes through. It shines through. It's a powdery scent. It smells a little bit like the old underlip. Like if you compare them both, you see that cherry thing, that DNA that is going on in the original underlip. Underlip flora has a little bit of it, a little. So you see that juiciness, queenly, gorgeous feeling that you get when you spray the original underlip. You absolutely get it too in underlip flora. But the thing is that in underlip flora, it is juicy, it is fruity, yeah? But it's a bit more toned down because of the lavender. It is not as juicy fruit in your face, burst of goodness, like the original underlip. Both are sweet. Don't get me wrong. Both are sweet, delicious, yummy, fruity, yeah? But one is sweeter than the other. And in this case, I think the old underlip is actually sweeter than the new underlip. But the new underlip is also juicy, yummy, fruity. I don't know if you get what I mean. I don't know if you're getting me. It's also delicious, so I can't even pick. If I were asked to pick one between underleaf flora and the original underleaf, I would not be able to choose. They are both delicious. Now, the thing about underleaf flora is that I wish that it lasted a lot longer than the original underleaf. The original underleaf lasts longer than underleaf flora. It projects to underleaf flora projects. When you spray underleaf flora, Especially if you overspray, a lot of people are going to smell you. It has a, a good search, but 
I can't call it beast mode. The siage is, is moderate, shall I say? Moderate. It's moderate. It's not anything over the top. You know, there's some perfumes that are over the top. Like once you spray it, boom, boom, everywhere. It's not really boom, boom, but it's there. It's going to form a scent bubble around you. I and mean, when people come close to you, they will smell you. However, it's not going ahead of you. Smell me before you see me. It's not doing the most. It's a very good scent, but it's not doing the most. And in terms, in, I'm excited. In terms of longevity, the lasting power, it does pretty well. It does pretty well. On my skin, it gave me five hours on my skin. I could still smell it after five hours. And on clothes, it did the whole day. So on clothes, you'll be getting around 12 to 24 hours on your clothes. If you overspray though, of course, you're going to get more and more and more. And the good thing is that if you overspray under lip flora, it's not going to choke you out or give you a headache. It's not one of those cloying scents that induces headache for you. I don't know if you get what I mean. There are some sweet scents that if you do too much, you're going to be feeling it right here. But this doesn't do that. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> And the bottle is pretty. So that's that about um, Andalip Flora. Now, the original Andalip. Ooh, the queen herself. The thing about the original Andalip is that the sweetness is intense. It's like give you cavities kind of sweetness. The sweetness, the cherry, the honey going on, it is intense in the original underleaf. It is also present in underleaf flora. It has that honey thing going on. Very, very juicy, fruity too. However, not as intense as this. <sighs> wow. <laughs> the original underleaf to me is just a burst of fruitiness, a burst of cherry, honey, sweetness. It's not as powdery. Underleaf flora is powdery. It's sweet, but powdery. So think of this. To picture underleaf flora, think of the original underleaf, yeah, but with a little bit of toned down uh, sweetness and fruitiness and juiciness, plus some lavender, sweet lavender, a little bit of florals, like a sprinkle little, just like a pinch of salt kind of florals in underleaf flora. And that's what you get. <sighs> I cannot choose. Both of them perform different functions. That is, they just, they somehow perfumes make me feel. <laughs> Both of them are really, really doing it right down there. They're, they're, they're itching the spot. They're getting the spot. But Andalip Flora, compared to the original Andalip, they are both, oh my God, how do I explain this for you to get what I mean? Because I really want you to get this. It is also juicy, fruity, yeah? But not as much, not as, much as the original Andalip. It is more powdery, it is a bit more florally, it's also juicy fruity, but of course, not as much as the original Andalip. Now, I'm not disappointed. I mean, by no means disappointed at all, because I even layered both together and ha, it was a dangerous combination. Ladies, do not layer these two perfumes. You see this? And you see this? Do not layer these perfume combinations if you don't want people to follow you home. Do not layer these two perfumes if you don't want people to be drooling all over you. Do not layer these two perfumes if you are not ready to be in a dangerous position because these two, dangerous combination. Guys, if you like sweet perfumes, huh? Sweet perfumes like me, fruity, sweet, yummy, juicy, delicious, drippy perfumes. These are your go-to. However, now comparing it to um Onero, Onero Florence because it also have it also has um lavender in it as one of the you know major notes. Hmm. In Onero Florence, the lavender that you get here is easily comforting. It makes you want to sleep. It makes you want to hug someone. If you see in that comfort zone. And it's not as powdery sweet as in Andalip Flora. So in Andalip Flora, you have lavender, sweetness, honey, powderiness, fruitiness. It's such a perfect cocktail. It's like the perfect perfume. Just that it doesn't last too long and it doesn't project like a beast. So I hope with these few points of mine, I have been able to convince you and not confuse you <laughs> that you need to get your hands on a bottle of Andalip Flora. Oh, guys, 
this is good in my own opinion it is not as good as the og queen i'm sorry it is not as good as the old if the og queen is 10 over 10 then Andalie flora is like 9 over 10 however it is good it is good i recommend if you've been thinking of buying it this is your sign just go right ahead and purchase it i'm pretty sure you won't regret it it's that sweet it's a good scent <laughs> it's a good scent i'm going to leave links in the description box description box i can't talk today i cannot talk <laughs> i'm going to leave links in the description box for you in case you're interested go pick it up pick it up any way you like and if you like the video so far oh like it <laughs> like it and then subscribe to my channel for more of me <laughs> because who don't want more of this goodness <laughs> i play way too much when i do reviews guys thank you so much for watching and until next time mwah, mwah, mwah. ciao <laughs>